Un peloton reste sur trois chevaux alors qu'on va passer devant les tribunes sous le commandement de Mayumbe galopant tout à fait à l'extérieur. Cadespèce est à ses côtés. Anzian qui reste plutôt côté corde qui vient librement et toujours très nettement détaché de Fanfan la Tulipe. 300 mètres du but, Anzian, cas d'espèce, vient de déborder Mayumbe, reste deux chevaux en liste à 100 mètres du poteau, et c'est le 1 Anzian qui vient de prendre une longueur d'avance sur cas d'espèce, 50 mètres du poteau, avec Anzian qui a l'avantage, très nettement, gardant une longueur et demie environ d'avance sur cas d'espèce qui sera... Barrier Breaker are running late, but it's Anzian in full flight for the wire. Barrier Breaker chasing him home in second, but Anzian a very impressive winner. Barrier Breaker a game second. Bob's draw was sir. Kingdom found traveling well between horses in the turquoise and benchmark is last but only four lengths off the leaders. They bunch as they come to the quarter goal. Big Sky Chester on the outside makes a run for it. Region in the gold colors. Private Song next. Far Easter can find no more. Kingdom found and benchmark. Delmar Dennis dropped out behind that tiring horse and Delmar Dennis now trying to come on but been given a tall order. They come for home and Kingdom found one from the rail. Oh, he just took up some Nearly there, Benchmark gets a beautiful trip in the centre, Delmar Dennis not today, and Benchmark given the perfect trip by Chris McCarran's going to win impressively, Benchmark has won it, an unlucky Kingdom found second, photo for third. They approach in the quarter pole, score quick down at the rail, he's a bull. Now Savinio is taken off the rail and going to come with his run and Benchmark is now winding up. And here comes Benchmark now in the white cap down at the rail, running on strongly at the top of the lane in the Goodwood. And it's he's a bull in the pink, but Benchmark is in, hailing horses coming between the Medi Dalla Usain draws the stick a little backhander and Benchmark comes flying down the centre of the track. He's a bull, score quick, but Benchmark is just too good. And Benchmark and Eddie Dallahuse win the good word from score. Eighths of a mile to go, Bertrando, now Richard of England coming after him second. Bag has been pushed along in third, then Turbulent Chris, Fax News behind him, Zurich still has eight lengths to make up, and then Seahawk Gold. Quarter of a mile to go, and Bertrando leads them just over length to Richard of England. Bag, Turbulent Chris, Fax News, a long shot down at the rail, and then Zurich. Homeward bound now, Bertrando scraping paint and going for home. Bertrando's clear by four. Zurich coming out the pack at the rail, but Bertrando is well clear. Bag and Zurich coming on second and third. But here's another great one win for Bertrando. This time it's the Norfolk Stakes, the son of Skywalker. Bertrando and Alex Solis romp in the Norfolk. Zurich second, Bag was third. Less than a half mile to go and Bertrando kicks on now. He leads by two lengths to the wicked north and Siberian summer. Star Recruit still has nine lengths to make up. Then never round and Daros El Sabine didn't fire today and Disposal not interested. They come into the quarter pole and Bertrando's gone clear and he's still full of run out here and Bertrando widens with each and every stride now. Bertrando by four over the Wicked North who's very weary. Star Recruit is a distant third. Homeward bound in the San Fernando and it's Bertrando telling them you're going to need to sprout wings to catch me. Bertrando and Chris McCarran super impressive in the San Fernando. He's clear by seven and just waltzing home on his own. He comes on just doing a steady canter now. Bertrando wins it as impressive as could be. Star Recruit second. The Wicked North held on third.
Poppy's Andrew, the fastest from the gate. Perfect Premier driving up to his inside second. Confide third, Chronobaster fourth. Kelly Kip on the far outside running in fifth. Then it's a break of three to Judas Wild one. Esteemed friend winning miracle. And Minnie Ghosted down inside. And a crush of five horses headlong into the far turn. Spectacular first quarter, 21 and two fifth seconds. Poppy's Andrew couldn't keep up the pace, drops off. And now the leader is Kelly Kip. Kelly Kip barreling full bore toward the top of the stretch. Confide is chasing him on the inside. He's right up there second. And Crown Ambassador third. Half. Unbelievable. 43 and two fifth seconds. The field turning for home. Here comes Confide. Confide has taken a narrow lead. Kelly Kip battles on bravely. Confide full out drive here beneath Mike Smith. He's got the lead. He's pulling away from Kelly Kip. Crown Ambassador will be third. It's going to be Confide. Dazzling in victory today. He wins by three and a half. 22 flat for the opening quarter. Chasing roll again down the back stretch. Confides move to second. Country Rainbow pinned down inside third. Echo Echo in the clear fourth. Banjo moves through between horses. The silver move will be caught five wide going into the far turn. A break of three to Ventry Prairie Junction and special occasion. Around the far turn, there goes Confide and gets ahead in front of Roll Again. The half in 45 and one fifth seconds. It's Confide in front by a half length. Roll Again second. The silver move trying to get closer to those two. Banjo's in between horses. Country Rainbow down inside. Echo Echo has dropped back to sixth. Echo Echo veers to the outside, but the field turns for home and Confide's opening up them and Confide opens up on the field by three and a half lengths. Roll again second. Country Rainbow down on the fence. The silver move coming up empty. They're coming down to the final 16th and it is Confide. Confide leads the way by five. Then Country Rainbow the silver move. It will be Confide. Sharp in victory. He won by six or seven. Vicker going head-to-head -head with Badger Gold. Ecton Park sitting just outside them third. Lemon Drop Kid right there in the thick of it fourth. Long shot, key to success. Now back pedals in fifth. Vision and Verse has been guided off the rail sixth, about six lengths from the lead. With a half mile remaining, the trailer is still best of luck. Into the far turn, the half went in 47 and four fifth seconds. Here comes Ecton Park ranging up on the outside. Vicker is right there battling away in between horses. Badger Gold toward the inside. Lemon Drop Kid right there in behind the lead. He's fourth. Then Vision and Verse. Then farther back, Best of Luck has now made within eight lengths of the lead. The field turns for home. Ecton Park wide off the turn, but he is in front and he has hit his best stride. Lemon Drop Kid set down for the drive on the far outside. Badger Gold is there toward the rail. Vicker has now faded to fourth. Best of Luck is fifth and Vision and Verse. One furlong to go. Ecton Park in front. Ecton Park is going, going, and he is gone to win the Jim Dandy in impressive style. He won by a half a dozen lengths. A half mile to run in the Super Derby. It's been answered lively every step of the way. He leads it a length and a tail from Brassy Wells in second. Ecton Park still third. Captain Countdown in fourth. Still Temperance Time and Menifee. Those two stride for stride as they get to the far turn. Answer lively. Three furlongs from the wire. He still is in front by just about a length. Still off of him. Brassy Wells. Ecton Park in third. Temperance Time. Menifee is in behind horses. Menifee needs to make up two and they have to get to Ecton Park. A short lead. Brassy Wells goes by. Answer lively. Menifee still in a stalking position. They come for home and it's Ecton Park and Menifee has to run him down. Ecton Park turns for home leading it by two. Menifee a clear path to get that leader now. Pineapp from last is coming on to take over third. Ecton Park still in front by over two. Menifee doing his best. Pineapp third. 16th pull and it'll be Ecton Park to win it. Ecton Park beats out Menifee and Pineapp. Ecton Park under the wine to take Super Derby 20.
Evansville Slough has recovered to grab the lead now, and he's got it by two. He runs a bit wide off the rail. Valid wager back to second. Another gap of a length and a half. Mr. Purple and Dusty Joe are battling for the third spot right now. Old Tascosa trying to squeeze down to their inside from fifth. He's three lengths from the lead. Then Peruvian Slough City, Dazzling Falls caught wide. That one five lengths from the lead. Unforbes Gettable is last. Up front, though, Evansville Slough has the lead a half length as Valid Wager is there to his inside. They're midway on the turn. Mr. Purple is still third, still two lengths from the lead. He's just to the outside of Old Tascosa, then Dusty Joe. Peruvian is seven lengths from the lead. Quarter pole. Here's Valid Wager from the inside to get the lead from Evansville Slough. Mr. Purple is still in third. He's still three lengths from the front. Evansville Slough is not finished yet. He's coming back to challenge for the lead. Valid Wager inside. Evansville Slough on the outside. It looks as though it'll be one of these two. Evansville Slough grabs the lead well before the line. Valid Wager back to second. It'll be Evansville Slough to win it. And Evansville Slough takes it by a length and a half. Back to the front end as they race down the back stretch. Southern Tempo by ahead to the Philly Glare Ice. Evansville Slough right there, third on the outside. One groovy one is fourth. Phone Randy a tight fifth on the inside. Luxury Box is sixth on the outside, three lengths back. Just inside of him is Fox Mountain racing in seventh. Followed two lengths back by Fuzzy Me in eighth. King Air is racing in ninth, eight lengths from the front. From there, it's Dazzling Falls, and Princess AA trails the field. They round the turn, and Evansville Slough makes his move on the outside now. He's gone by Southern Tempo. Evansville slew a short lead at the quarter pole. Southern Tempo to the inside is next and second. Phone Randy has been left three lengths back in third. Luxury Box is fourth. Glare Ice has dropped back on the inside. They straighten away at the top of the stretch. Evansville slew has the lead. Southern Tempo is game on the inside. But Evansville slew begins to draw clear through the final furlong. Evansville slew going easily. Draws clear from Southern Tempo. Here comes a late bid from Dazzling Falls. Dazzling Falls charging into second as Evansville slew takes the Mathis Brothers, Remington Futurity. 45 and 2 fifth seconds for the half mile. The rail opens up for favorite trick. And Pat Day sends him on through and he seizes the lead as they round the far turn. Undefeated favorite trick in front. Time limit trying to come back to him. Dawson's Legacy hanging tough on the outside third. Souvenir Copy is called on for his run. He's fourth. He's only three lengths behind favorite trick. Then John Bell. Double Honor is making a belated bid. He switched to the outside. Grand Slam toiling. And the field turns for home. It is favorite trick. The leaders, they come to mid stretch. Under a hand ride beneath Pat Day. Favorite trick. Now he says go. And favorite trick responds in an instant. He opens up by three and a half lengths. Dawson's Legacy, the Canadian second souvenir copy, third. Here is an undefeated champion. Favorite trick, and he ran like a champion today, winning by five. Favorite trick has the lead by a length. The other four stacked up across the course. Shuayu Dansur to the far outside, and Soviet line coming forward from in between horses, second and third, respectively. Wild event is now shuffled to fourth, and double the bet twice is the trailer. 46 and 1, the time for the half. But still, it is favorite trick in his turf debut who leads Joyeu Dansur only by three parts of a length, however. Soviet line is now third toward the rail, two lengths off the leaders, a quarter mile remaining, then wild defense and double the bet twice. Moving off the far turn, Joyeu Dansur goes wide outside of favorite trick. Soviet line is right there toward the inside, and favorite trick clings to the lead. Moving into the final furlong, his turf debut looks to be a successful one. It is favorite trick drawing clear by three. He loves the surface. Behind him, a scramble for second, but at the line, it is all favorite trick in front.
five star day leads it by a length wouldn't we all second to half length now bet on sunshine tries to get untracked he's going to have to go three wide at the quarter pole to the center of the track and he moves up outside of wouldn't we all Istantaj has running room they move past the half in 44 and four fifth seconds Istantaj on the outside of five star day bet on sunshine needs to find more and he needs to find it quickly as he leans on Istantaj while five star day sprints clear with a three length lead Istantaj regains the second spot bet on sunshine is beaten five star day draws clear for a five length victory in the phoenix breeders cup five star day clicks off a quarter in 21 and four he's got a two length lead and continues the barrel right along here just call me carl full out chasing second on the outside shadow caster now comes on to join the leaders the french colt iron mask is there on the far outside is now running along in fourth and then bonapon behind horses as the field turns for home just call me carl on the outside five star day at the inside doing battle as they come to mid stretch on the far outside, Delaware Township is coming on. Bonapaw late running between horses. It's Five Star Day, and he's got another gear. Five Star Day, another gear. Nothing left for Just Call Me Carl. Delaware Township moves to second, but an impressive sprinting performance by Five Star Day to win it by a length and a half. They have a half mile to go in the Santa Anita Derby and a sharp cat down at the rail with Silver Charm. Those two stride for stride. The two favourites go into the far turn, locked together. It's three back to Freehouse. Carmen's baby starting to struggle. Hello is now moving into contention fifth and Hello is on the move now. Then Swiss Yodler in behind that is Steel Ruler. Classic Credential didn't fire, has dropped out of it. They have a quarter of a mile to go in the Derby and it's Silver Charm now kicking on for Home. Hello on the grandstand side. Sharp cat at the rail and the grey freehouse steel ruler. A huge long shot running a big one in the blinkers on the outside. Homeward bound and the grey freehouse and silver charm. Sharp cat can find no more. Hello and steel ruler. But it's freehouse in front with 50 yards to run. And it's going to be freehouse. Silver charm comes right back at him. They run to the wire and get a freehouse and nose to silver charm. They've quickened the pace just a little as they move on to the back stretch. Freehouse, Chris McCarran takes a peep back. He must be happy with proceedings. Dr. Fong is on the outside of him. They still stride for stride as they run to the half mile. Event of the year is now up to take the third spot. Silver Charm is still right there in fourth. Those four locked together, only two lengths separate them. Puerto Madero has now been asked to pick it up in fifth and Sidon is eight off the leaders. Going to the three-eighths pole and now there goes Event of the Year on the outside and Event of the Year is going to tackle Dr. Fong and Freehouse three of them in a line with a quarter of a mile to go Silver Charm has now been asked to pick it up but the whip's coming out on Silver Charm he's labouring a little in the fourth spot at the top of the lane Event of the Year and Freehouse these two battling it out Silver Charm's not done he's coming on on the outside homeward bound in the big cup Freehouse at the rail Event of the Year here alongside Silver Charm plugging away in third, but Freehouse and Chris McCarran going to take the big cap. Freehouse wins at half a length to event of the year.
and it's Siphon dictating the pace. Siphon leads it by a length and a half. Gentleman yet to take him on from the outside. Marlin a clear cut there, just two and a half off the pace. Sand Pit next to the outside by five, then long shot region. And Talwa at the back of the pack, still ten off the lead. Midway up the back stretch they go. Siphon and David Flores now. Here comes the pressure from Gentleman, inching up to his outside. Marlin asks for speed in third. Sand Pit fourth by five more, followed by Region and Talwa at the back. Round the fire tear and the race heating up now. Siphon in front by half a length. Gentleman right to his flank in second. Marlin put to a full out drive on the inside. Sand Pit next by five and Talwa coming on for the back at the top of the lane. Siphon Gentleman right off his flank. Three farther back to Marlin third. They head for home and Gentleman pokes his head in front. Siphon tough as nails battling gamely on the inside. Five back to Sand Pit and Marlin but Gentleman has Siphon put away. Gentlemen going clear. Siphon couldn't match strides with him. And gentlemen going on to win the Hollywood Gold Cup. Gentlemen goes on to win under Gary Stevens by three. They head for the fire tear and just about a half mile remaining in the Pimlico Special. Is it in good? Gentlemen not letting him get away on the outside and skip away his third. Key of Luck is under a ride in fourth. Tejano run in with a winning chance. He's now fourth. Three lengths off the lead but Gentlemen puts his head in front. Gentlemen, is it in good? Down to the inside. They're shoulder to shoulder now but Gentlemen going best and skip away is up for a challenge. Gentlemen skip away one two. Is it in good? Trying to work hard to stay with him. Right behind them is Tejano run in fourth. Still three off the lead. Headed for home in the Pimlico Special. Gentleman leads the way. Skip away, chasing him on the outside. Gentleman now feels a crack of the whip. Still in front and headed gamely to the final furlong. Skip away on the outside. Gentleman and Gary Stevens. Skip away on the outside. Still trying to get by. It's an ultra tough gentleman. Skip away. Can not nail. Gentleman. Gentleman won it by a neck. Skip away and Tejano run five links back. House Buster blazes the way into the fire turn. He leads by two. The California Invader in excess track second. The quarter, 22 flat. And a sensational half here. 44 and one-fifth seconds. House Buster moving at an incredible clip here. He leads by length. But Pat Valenzuela has in excess right there just off his flank on the outside as Rubiano comes with his rally into third on the outside. And then it's Windsplitter racing fourth. Black Tie Affair has dropped out of it. And DeRoche is coming with a menacing rally. In excess has taken the lead from the sprint champion. It's in excess in front now at the top of the stretch. House Buster can't stay with him. Rubiano attacks on the outside. DeRoche is now fourth toward the rail. Windsplitter is fifth. And Gervaisi, they're in the final furlong in excess in front and driving leads by length and a half. Rubiano on the outside. DeRoche is closing in. Gervaisi, they're coming down to the finish. And in excess draws off and wins the Met Mile. Impressively, he wins by two. Rubiano is second. Sound of Cannons is dictating a moderate pace, but in excess is right there with him on the inside. Sound of Cannons by a neck, in excess right there on the inside, and now in excess grabs the lead midway down the back stretch. Chief Honcho tracking a moderate pace here. They've run a half in 47 seconds flat. And on the outside, the Canadian Grey is Vestia is edging closer to the lead. He's only three lengths from it. Killer Diller is right there with him. Then far the back, still trailing the field. Armand Tubio and DeRoche in excess, controlling the race as they move into the far turn. He's leading by a length. But Chief Honcho is right there, racing second through three quarters of a mile in one ten and one. In excess is getting away. In excess opens up quickly here and effortlessly. He leads by three. Chief Honcho chasing. Now in second, Killer Diller is coming with his run in third. Sound of Cannons is faded to fourth. Adam Montubio is now coming on the inside. His Vestia has dropped out of it. And they're coming to the quarter pole. It's in excess at the top. 
top of the stretch. Chief Huncho runs at him from the outside, and Killer Diller runs at him from the rail, and In Excess holds the lead. In Excess comes to the final furlong in front and driving by a half length. Chief Huncho attacks once again, and Killer Diller is third at the 16th pole. It's In Excess trying to hold on. Chief Huncho, one last run. In Excess holds on, and he wins by a determined three quarters of a length. And then it was Chief Huncho, followed by Killer Diller. Iron Cat pressing from the inside now second. Arosa racing third. Montana Bill gaining steadily on the inside from fourth. In Revival Expressionist and five farther back to Just Ruler. 21 and three for the quarter into the turn. Iron Cat takes charge. Half a link now. Rapido can't go with him second. Then Arosa racing third. Montana Bill asks for speed. Expressionist on the far outside. Three farther back. Just Ruler starting to crank it up from the back at the top of the lane. Iron Cat off the turn leads the way by three. Rapido racing second. Arosa third. Expressionist on the far outside and Just Ruler continues to come on. Now to the final furlong. Iron Cat shake it up up here by Rene Douglas. Leads it by three. Expressionist on the far outside. Iron Cat from Expressionist. Iron Cat will get there. Iron Cat winning it by a length and a half. Midway on the far turn. Iron Cat on the outside and Game Cat toward the rail. Still ahead separates the front two. And a gap of two lengths to Sociano, who stays toward the rail third, just in front of Hong Kong Henry, as they move by the quarter pole, the half in 44 and one. Iron Cat, Game Cat, joined by Sociano, who goes third to the far outside. He'll have to find something more, however, because Iron Cat is threatening to run off. Iron Cat has the lead by two. Game Cat and Sociano third, who's a bit erratic in the stretch. Iron Cat, meanwhile, wins it. K1 King is in front by two and a half. Fort La Roca runs the second. Then up from the outside, make your mark third ahead. La War is fourth. Sweeping Racer now runs fifth. Then it's Fly Forever, followed by Mark's Main Man and Torch Magic. Three quarters and one eleven and three. And K1 King is in front. Goes wide, but still has it by two and a half lengths. Then through from the inside, make your mark. Takes second. On the outside, Fort La Roca runs third. La War fourth. But in the final furlong, K1 King just draws away. K1 King, impressive here this afternoon. Wins by seven or eight lengths. They continue down the backstretch. A good pace, 45 and four for the half mile. Allen's Oop and Pleasant Breeze are right together. Two lengths back to Cat Thief. Almudo Akel is running a big one on the outside today. He's fourth. Bud Royale being pushed along by Garrett Gomez now, and K1 King still at the back of the pack. They head to the final turn, and Cat Thief rushes out there now to take the lead. Allen's Oop to the rail. There goes Almudo Akel to the outside. Three quarters in 110. Midway on the turn, Cat Thief has the lead. Almudo Akel wants to challenge him. On the outside, here comes K1, King, and Calvin Burrell. And here they come into the stretch of the Oakland Handicap. And it is Calvin Burrell in the silks of the Paulsons who shoots K1, King, to the lead. Almudo Akel is second. Cat Thief at the rail is third. This is K1, King, making his presence known. He opens it up by two lengths. Still along the rail, fighting back. Cat Thief and Almudo Akel. K1 King has made a statement today. He goes to the head of the class, winning this one by two lengths. Almudo Akel was second.
Opening half was 46 and 4 fifth seconds. Solid fractions up front for Kamita's size. Three parts of a length in front. Image Quest, the long shot, pressing the pace in second. FJ's pace racing third. Mantle Star inching up to the outside fourth. Grand Royale fifth by three. Doc Martin starting to rev up from the back now. Prince Foley and Andy Dufresne coming with his charge at the top of the lane. Kamita's size. Stable mate. FJ's pace up to tackle him from the outside. Mantle Star racing in third. In the stretch drive, Kubinus Sai set down for the drive. Tackled by FJ's pace, then Mantle Star and Doc Martin on the far outside. FJ's pace up to grab the lead. A 16th from the wire. Kubinus Sai on the inside, and Mantle Star is surging. Mantle Star up to take charge late. Mantle Star to win the generous. Beating FJ's pace, and Kubinus Sai was third. As they move for the turn, Rocket Cat three quarters in front. If it's to be, it's up to me. Second, my Poppy Bird is third. Runaway Jet is hung wide the entire trip, racing in fourth. Indiana Affair gets shaken up along the inside. Mighty starts to crank it up now behind a wall of horses and two farther back to nature at the back around the far turn. Rocket Cat head in front. Third, my poppy bird in between horses racing and fourth. Nature will need some racing room. He's bottled up at the moment. Three farther back to the top of the lane. On the inside comes Mighty. They head for home. Rocket Cat cuts the corner. Short lead. Mighty trying to squeeze through between horses. If it's to be, it's up to me. My poppy bird's on the outside. Final for long now. If it's to be, it's up to me. A seam for Mighty sent through by St. Julian. And Mighty firing up with a burst of energy, blowing the field away. Mighty winning the Iroquois, going away impressively by four. If it's to be, it's up to me with second and nature ran third. As they round the far turn at more than ready with the lead. On the outside is Peninsula. Right there, still challenging. Two lengths back is exchange rate in third country only. Now Captain Steve comes to life and down the stretch in the Louisiana Derby. More than ready on the outside peninsula at 90 to 1 is still there. Captain Steve is floundering on the inside. Exchange rate is next. And by the eighth pole, more than ready has the lead on the outside. Mighty quickly on now. More than ready desperately trying to hang on but it is mighty from last to first to win the derby more than ready was next Bad as I want to be in the center, the yellow jacket on the outside. Here's Minardi now delivering a run under Mick Canan. Pomfret Lad on the far side running a big race. Endless Summer next, then Barrett behind runners. Minardi's just in front entering the final furlong. Endless Summer trying hard on the outside, but Minardi's beginning to stretch now from Endless Summer. Then Red Carpet and Minardi justifies favoritism in second. Also close up is Silka Legend over towards the far side behind the leaders is Minardi as they head on towards the halfway park and Cashel Palace the near side, Silka Legend in the centre, Longville Legend over on the far side, Superstar Leo just behind them, Minardi behind them on the far rail, Dora Carrington chasing the leaders. As they head on to the two, Cashel Palace in the centre of the course, Silka Legend, Longville Legend coming there in the centre. Now is Superstar Leo, Minardi over on the far rail, a furling and a half to race, Minardi over on the far rail, Superstar Leo in the centre, Longville Legend and Silka Legend, but Minardi the leader going on from Superstar Leo, Longville Legend, Dora Carrington runs on in third, but Minardi is clear, going away from Superstar Leo, Dora Carrington running on into third with Longville Legend, but as he goes to the line, Minardi gives Aidan O'Brien a third Hines in a row, Minardi already cleared Into the far turn, along the inside, Mary's book has the lead still by half. 
Ms. Wacky on the outside, second by a length. Band practice is right there in third. Dr. Blum gains on the inside, and Dr. Blum now takes third. Naughty Jimmy is now in fourth as band practice has dropped back into fifth. Restless Thief gains along the inside, and moving up on the outside is Shark Song. They're approaching the top of the stretch. Mary's Book on the rail, Ms. Wacky on the outside. They are heads apart, but Mary's Book still has the lead by a neck. And Ms. Wacky is closing now. They're right together, heads apart, and Dr. Blum is third. Then Restless Thief, Shark Song, Naughty Jimmy, Double Cadet, and Key Image approaching the 16th pole. Ms. Wacky now takes the lead. Mary's Book back into second. Dr. Blum is gaining, and Dr. Blum is moving into second, but Ms. Wacky leads to the wire. Black Tie Affair is just cruising on an easy lead. A dawdling pace in the Classic, 24 and 1 for the quarter, 48 and 2 fifth seconds for the half, and it is Black Tie Affair bounding along. Star of Gdansk is trying to run to him, but Black Tie Affair lets it out another notch. While at it into third on the outside. Summer Squall is now back racing in fourth. He's down inside. And then it's Fly So Free. Chief Poncho's gearing up on the far outside, followed by Marquetry. Kudas has dropped out of it. And huge margins to be made up here by Unbridled Strike the Golden Festine. They are far behind. They're at least 15 lengths from the front. And now, here comes Twilight Agenda to challenge Black Tie Affair as they approach the top of the stretch here at Churchill Downs. Fly So Free is poised in third position. Chief Poncho rallies on the outside. Marquetry is also right there. Summer Squall is still six lengths from the lead now. Unbridled is coming with his rally, but he's seven lengths from the front with a fair long to go. And Black Tie Affair grimly trying to hold on to the lead. On the outside, Twilight Agenda. It'll be those two. Black Tie Affair on the inside. Twilight Agenda. Black Tie Affair and a front-running masterpiece. See your stallion research come to life. Equine Vision ushers in a new era of bloodstock research. Our high-tech, easy-to-use virtual stallion guide is a first-of-its-kind service. The following presentation contains valuable imagery for each stallion, including 360-degree photography, confirmation videos and stills, past performance race footage, and directory-style stallion pages. So this year, visualize your research with Equine Vision's Virtual Stallion Guide and see results. Faris applying the pressure on the outside now to Salmon Ladder as they race up towards the entrance to the home straight. Mongol Warrior in behind them, hard ridden. Kingfisher Mill in a pocket, it'll need a run soon. Further back in the field, then taken to the outside now is uh, Poseidon. Romanoff needs a run as well, followed by King Sound. Rounding the corner now, they've got two and a half furlongs left to travel. Faris, the first, first to swing for home, are uh, being tackled now by Kingfisher Mill who sees daylight. Salmon Ladder's gone in a stride. Romanoff is out into the clear now. Poseidon down the outside, King Sound in behind horses. Just over a furlong to go though. Kingfisher Mill ranges up, grabs the lead from Faris. Romanoff behind them. King Sound battling on. Three parts of a furlong left to go. Kingfisher Mill in front. Romanoff trying hard from King Sound and Faris. A hundred yards left to go. Kingfisher Mill only a half in front. Romanoff is trying hard to get to him but punched out Kingfisher Mill. Kingfisher Mill got there from Romanoff. They come down past the bushes and it's still Happy Valentine with Romanoff on the outside, Kingfisher Mill. Here comes the fly whizzing through next to the rails and the whole complexion of the race changes. A furlong and a half to go. The fly, Romanoff with uh, joining in the battle now, Silver Patriarch, as they race inside the final furlong. It's uh, Romanoff on the stand side, Silver Patriarch. What a battler he is. He's sticking his willing neck out as they race up towards the line. It's Romanoff who holds on there at the line. Romanoff wins it, Silver Patriarch second. A sensational first quarter here, 21 and 3 fifths seconds as Salt Lake 
blazes the way around the far turn, and Caller ID is in hot pursuit, but it's Salt Lake who's now leading by three and a half lengths, Caller ID still chasing a hard second, a gap of almost six lengths now, back to Big Sur who's now moving into third position, Paradise Creek has been running on the outside the whole way, Money Run's beginning to drop out of it now, smiling and dancing, Slew's Ghost takes to the outside, a half and an eye opening, 44 and two fifth seconds, and Mike Smith is all over Salt Lake, he needs another furlong from him, still leading now by four. And then it's Carlo ID who's still chasing second. Paradise Creek on the outside and Slew's Ghost at the 16th pole. Salt Lake all alone. He's leading by six. He's a little leg weary, but he's going to win. The hopeful Salt Lake wire to wire and 21-2 and two for the first quarter. Sizzling pace here. Big Sur leads the way. Concord's tune trying to stick with them. Here comes Salt Lake, who's moving three wide after the lead. And in behind the lead, it's Wild Harmony. Belong to me is kicking in three wide. Devil on Ice is also right there. And then in behind that group, it's been along as the field turns for home. Salt Lake charges to the fore. Concord's tune. Big Sur right there. Been along trying to squeeze through on the inside. He had to check. And belong to me on the far outside has a clear run in mid stretch. It's Salt Lake leading by two. Agincourt, who was far back early making a late run, been along who had horrible trouble in the stretch, finally gets through on the inside, but it'll be too late. Salt Lake wins. Been along was a troubled second. Agincourt third. Half 46 and 4 as they make their way into the turn. Running Copeland by a length and three quarters. Scatmandu is going nicely though in second. Now it's two and a half lengths to True Silver and on the inside Black Cash yet to respond. Medford begins to move up on the outside three wide followed by Poolman and Hotwell's trying to get in gear from the back. Quarter to go. Scatmandu's coming to take on Running Copeland. The six and a speedy one ten and two. Scatmandu to the front now by a length. Running Copeland on the inside second, trying to rally Medford. Hot Wells is flying on the far outside for long to go. It's Scatmandu by three. Pullman between horses. True Silver and Hot Wells on the far outside. But Scatmandu, he's for real. He's going to take the Leonard Richards. Hot Wells in the second, and long shot True Silver gets third. The half mile 45 and 3. Scatmandu now taking second. Sailor's warning down on the fence in between horses is a power by a far. And on the extreme outside, it's Aristotle and Barton Dixie in between. They're in the stretch. And Scatmandu has overtaken Puncher for the lead. Scatmandu is in front. It's Aristotle on the outside. Then power by far. Scatmandu with the lead. Aristotle on the outside. Scatmandu and Aristotle inside the 16th pole. Scat Scatmandu, Aristotle, they come to the line in the sport page, and Scatmandu won it by a head. Aristotle was second, Watchman's warning third. Past the five eights they go, and late edition now takes the lead. Search me down at the rail. Orville and Wilbur's pulling hard between horses, and Sea of Secrets on the outside. Those four till tightly bunched as they run past the half mile pole. Then a gap of eight lengths back to Pleasant Drive. Into the far turn they go, and late edition the leader, Sea of Secrets, now running up on the outside of him. Search me's in deep water down at the rail. Orville and Wilbur's waiting for room two. They approach in the quarter pole. 
late edition, Sea of Secrets. Now Orville and Wilbers need somewhere to run. Down at the rail, search me. Pleasant drive, last by seven. At the top of the lane, late edition running a good one. Sea of Secrets up alongside and Orville and Wilbers hooked to the outside. Now he's got a quick in from there. Past the eighth pole, they come and Sea of Secrets gets the lead from late edition. Orville and Wilbers did not go on. Pleasant drive is coming with a late run, but it's Sea of Secrets in full fight for the wire and Sea of Secrets and Kent de Sormo take the San Vicente from late edition and a flying pleasant drive. 22 flat, a contested and strong opening quarter for Art Tax. Moving along smoothly in front by an egg. Email it right there, second. There goes Sea of Secrets. Now charging up in the contention from third. Behind that stalwart, Sue's racing fourth by three and Drake's retreat around the far turn they go. And they've hooked up here, Sea of Secrets. A neck in front, Art Tax is going with them. Stride for stride on the inside. Email it's racing third by four more. Drake's retreat comes on now from the back of the pack and Stalwart two to the top of the stretch. It's Sea of Secrets in front, clear by a length and a half. Art Tax now put to a drive and battling gamely on the inside. They head for home. Sea of Secrets and Kent DeSormo clear by two. Art Tax game, but second best here tonight as Sea of Secrets kicks it into another gear. And Sea of Secrets putting in a monster performance here. Sea of Secrets drawing away to win impressively. Sea of Secrets by seven over Art Tax. Email it third Into the back stretch, Harrow Man being prompted by Sir Kent. Officious on the outside. And down toward the rail, City by Night. Saving ground in fourth position. To his outside, it's Allied Forces, who's had a good trip so far. Optic Nerve is in the clear on the far outside. Followed by Value Investor, Old Chapel in Fortitude. Harrow Man has led throughout and is still in control as they enter the far turn. Sir Cat, though, right there, ready to pounce in second. And Officious is making a three-wide move for the lead. Optic Nerve will be forced to go forward. Allied Forces just in behind the lead. And down inside, it's City by Night, followed by Value Investor, Old Chapel, Fortitude. Tight pack. Anyone can win it here. There's only six lengths from front to back as the field turns for home. Harrow Man, Sir Cat. Harrow Man and Sir Cat. Going at it now. Optic Nerve on the outside is charging hard. Fortitude closing stoutly down the center of the course. Sir Cat by a head. Optic Nerve right at his throat. Fortitude on the outside. Third and value investor. And Sir Cat will do it. Sir Cat the winner by a length. The opening half mile in 47 and 3 fifth seconds. As they hit the half mile pole, it's still Sir Cat in front. King can run all day, has been pressing him all the way. Wild event continues to run on well. Just in behind the lead third. Dixie Bayou comes alive into the far turn. He's drawn within four and a half lengths of the lead. A Grand Fernando tails off to trail the field. But it's still Sir Cat in front. Wild event down inside of King Can Run All Day. Dixie Bayou running fourth about five lengths from the lead. Coming to the top of the stretch. Jerry Bailey and Sir Cat. Head for home with a two and a half length lead. Wild event is full out, running second on the outside. King can run all day. One furlong left. It's Sir Cat. Sir Cat by four. Sir Cat by five. And Wild event chasing him home. It's all Sir Cat, a sharp winner of the Appleton. He won by a half a dozen lengths. The field moving up the back stretch. 
Look at that quarter, 21 and three-fifths seconds, and they are smoking. It's smoke locking on the outside, and Kelly Kip going head-to-head -head in a torrid speed duel that takes him into the turn. And it's three lengths back country, Rainbow on the inside, around the far turn, smoke locking, taking over. Kelly Kip couldn't stay with him. It's smoke locking, opening up, 44 and one, a dazzling half mile. This nearly was mine is rallying, and here comes Ordway mounting a bit on the outside. Kelly Kip back pedals to fourth. Country Rainbow in gunfight. Then Mercer Mill as the field turns for home. Smoke Glacken will come to mid stretch with a four length lead. Smoke Glacken in front by five at the eighth pole. Then it's Ordway on the outside. Followed on the inside by this nearly was mine. Then gunfight. They're coming down to the finish. And here is a dazzling performance. Smoke Glacken wins the hopeful by seven devastating lengths. Smoke Glacken gets a half in 45 and three-fifths seconds. Taking ZD a bit wide as they turn for home. And there's a huge opening at the inside for Wild Wonder. Statesmanship is right there and Trafalgar on the far outside. At the top of the stretch, Smoke Glacken now. Craig Perrette shakes him up. And he responds, Smoke Glacken opening up by two and a half at the eighth pole. Trafalgar is trying to reel him in with the 16th to go. ZD is third and Wild Wonder is fourth. But it's Smoke Glacken who streaks under the line. A big winner here. He wins by three and a half lengths over Trafalgar. Swiss Yodeler leads the way by just a half a lick now. With Flew the City applying the pressure in second, Freehouse racing in third place. Then higher with fire, Master Marshall saving ground on the inside. Robin Hood on the outside thing nudged along, then too farther back to Stolen Gold. And by that, Carmen's Baby in excessive bull starts to crank it up along the inside in constant demand. Too farther back to Steel Ruler, they head off around the far turn. Half mile, 45 and one fifth seconds and through six furlongs in a quick 109 and three. Running for the top of the lane. Swiss Yodeler getting away now. Swiss Yodeler out there by three past the quarter pole. Blue the City couldn't hang with him. Here comes Stolen Gold on the far outside. Freehouse in excessive bull. Under a full out drive is five off the lead. Furlong to go now in the Hollywood Futurity. It's Swiss Yodeler and Alex Solis out there by two. Stolen Gold trying to come on to close the gap. A late run from an excessive bull. Swiss Yodeler. Stolen Gold can't quite get to him. Swiss Yodeler. Stolen Gold. Swiss Yodeler wire to wire to win the Hollywood Futurity. Half mile pole in the best pal, and it's golden bronze on the outside. Swiss Yodler inside of him, and Net is right there third. Deeds, not words, are close up fourth, and Fearless Pirate is right in here. They're all punched together as they run to the E38. Red is down at the rail. Deeds, not words, just drop back sharply there. Rightwood at the back of the pack is five off them, and four more to True Story, use ten off the leaders. They approaching the quarter pole. Golden bronze on the outside of Swiss Yodler. Here comes Red. Red in the yellow colors and red cap moving up smartly. Then a net. Now Deeds Not Words has to go wide. Has had a terrible trip today. They come for home and it's Red on the outside coming to get the lead. Golden bronze between them. Swiss Yodler down at the rail. Deeds Not Words battling along in fourth. Swiss Yodler finds more. And Swiss Yodler on the inside going better than Golden Bronze with 50 to go. And Swiss Yodler as Won the best foul, Golden Bronze second, Deeds Not Words has to settle for third.
entering the far turn. It's Mystic Knight by a head currency arbitrage. Allied Forces is on the inside of Marlin, who's pressing forward now three wide. A length and a half, Janoxo trail City sixth on the outside, giving away a two and a half length start. They're nicely clear of the rest, headed by Irish Splash. Then rough opening, Thorn Tree gotcha. Hope for the best and Mr. Herbert. They turn for home three sixteenths to go. Mystic Knight with currency arbitrage. Marlin coming at them. And now the rail opens for Allied Forces. Janoxo in tight. Trail City the outside. Allied Forces in trouble with the 16th pole. Marlin taken on by Trail City. Trail City takes the lead and is spearing clear now. Janoxo into second, followed by Marlin. But Trail City wins brilliantly. Two lanes, Janoxo. Third is Marlin. In this pattern, they passed the half-mile mark in the Arlington Classic and its winter quarters by three quarters. Trail City taking closer order. A length and a half away comes Broadway Bow. Then more Royal on the inside of Gotcha. Coming down to the 5 sixteenths. Winter quarters being attacked now by Trail City on the outside. A length behind them. Gotcha coming into it with the purple cap. Broadway Bow in the red cap is trying to force through. He's having a bumping duel with Gotcha. More Royal meantime is in behind the leaders, trying to come through one off the rail, they're all in with a shot at the 8th pole, Trail City about a half length, more Royal coming through strongly on the fence Trail City taken on by more Royal Trail City fighting on Trail City has the better of more Royal he'll win the Arlington Classic a half length